Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of SmackDown. And I thought tonight's edition of SmackDown was a good show. Uh, I have to say it was a lot better than Raw last night, uh, even though Raw was an okay show last night in my opinion. But after watching tonight's SmackDown, uh, tonight's SmackDown uh, beat Raw because uh, there was a lot of good stuff that uh, I liked that happened tonight. Uh, but the show opened with Shane and Daniel uh, in their office, and they're rewatching the last part of the Battle Royal match from last week, where it was down to, of course, AJ Styles and Luke Harper. And you know they're trying to tell if either AJ or Luke uh, dropped first, which we kind of saw last week that AJ Styles' uh, feet dropped first, and then AJ Styles comes in and says that. You know, Luke Harper was the first one who dropped. But uh, Daniel Bryan ends up making a match tonight. It's going to be AJ Styles versus Luke Harper. And the winner gets to go to WrestleMania. And uh, you know, AJ Styles was, was well, sorry, Luke Harper was uh, behind uh, AJ. And, you know, AJ leaves and then Harper uh, thanks uh, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon for making that match happen. So it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty good opening segment. And then after that, uh, the show began with uh, the Miz and Maurice coming out. Uh, it was Miz TV. Uh, his guest was John Cena. Uh, you know, John Cena comes out. You know, he tries to talk on the mic, but Miz uh, cuts his cuts Cena's mic. And it's just Miz, you know, just, you know, talking about Cena and, you know, just, you know, talking a lot of shit uh, to him. Uh, he goes on to say that uh, Cena has cost him a lot of opportunities over the years in the 10 years that he's been in WWE. Uh, he also says that Cena manipulates any superstar that comes his way. Uh, also, uh, he says that, you know, he's not the other guy. He just wants to be himself. Uh, also, Miz goes on to say that Cena is jealous of him and calls he calls Cena a hypocrite. Uh, the crowd starts chanting that you know Cena has sold himself out, you know, we're going to Hollywood and you know and everything. But then you know it's time for Cena to talk. He gets on the mic, saying you know he has a lot of opportunities. You know he's going to Hollywood. You know he can't. You know you know he's not a you know good actor though from what he said. And he goes on to say how Miz stole uh, Ric Flair's figure four leg lock. Uh, Cena also says that Miz doesn't know who, you know, he is and that he's just a guy who wears suits and, you know, he's just a shell of a WWE superstar. And then as Cena tries to leave the ring, uh, Maurice ends up getting on the mic and she's, she doesn't want Cena to leave the ring. She ends up uh, slapping Cena. And Cena says that, you know, she just made the biggest mistake of her life. And out comes Nikki Bella. And, you know, the Miz and Maurice end up leaving the ring. Uh, Nikki gets on the mic and says to Maurice that if she messes with, uh, if Maurice messes with Cena, she, Nikki is going to break her. And she, she goes, I'm going to break you, bitch. Uh, which was, uh, which was really cool. Uh, you know, it was a, Really good, uh, Miz TV. It was uh, very interesting, you know, with Miz and Cena bickering back and forth. It was uh, it was really cool. But this is gonna actually set up uh, Cena and Nikki versus Miz and Maurice at WrestleMania. So, and after that, it was Becky Lynch versus Mickey James in a two out of three falls match. Uh, this was a good uh, this was a good match. Uh, Really enjoy seeing uh, Becky and Mickey go at it once again. I think they put on uh, both of them put on uh, good matches together. Uh, Mickey actually sco scored the first fall, uh, and then uh, Becky scored the second fall. And then uh, during the match, you had Alexa Bliss come out. You know she was distracting the uh, the ref the referee, and uh, you know just Becky was uh, arguing with Alexa, and then. You know, then Mickey was going to take out Becky, but she ended up, 
you know, getting out of the way and Mickey actually ended up uh, knocking Alexa off the uh, off the ring apron. And that eventually led to uh, Becky scoring the last Becky scoring the last fall. So, but uh, yes, because uh, Becky won it with the uh, won it with the disarm her. So, but yeah, it was a good match and I really, I really liked it. Uh, flowed, uh, match flowed really good. Even though it kept on going to, uh, the only problem that the match had was it kept on going to commercial, you know, kept on having commercials throughout it. So, but it was a good match. It was a good two out of three falls match. Then after that, Luke Harper cuts a promo saying that he's not afraid of Bray Wyatt. And if he wins and fights Bray at WrestleMania, you know, Bray is going to be afraid of him. That was a pretty cool segment where uh, it was Luke Harper just walking by and, uh, you know, the lights uh, started coming on, you know, automatically. Then after that, Alexa Bliss was being interviewed. Uh, Alexa says that you know, being a two-time SmackDown Women's, you know, talks about being a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion, and she makes it, you know, like she's winning an Oscar. She she thanks herself for winning the title for a second time, and then Natalia walks in and congrats her on both, you know, her and Alexa's victories last week, and Natalia goes on to say that she wants to take the title away from Alexa. So eventually, that's going to set up uh, Alexa versus Natalia uh, for the title. Don't know when it's going to come. So then after that, Renee is interviewing AJ Styles about their match tonight. That AJ said he's going to beat uh, Luke Harper and go on to the main event at WrestleMania. And then it eventually led to the match: AJ Styles versus Luke Harper. Uh, this was a good match. Uh, Another match that I really enjoyed. Uh, just back and forth action between Styles and Harper. Uh, you had Harper go through uh, the ropes and, you know, take out AJ, which uh, AJ landed on the announce table uh, on the side, which was uh, crazy. And then, you know, AJ, uh, we saw him pin Luke Harper, but Harper's uh, foot was on the ropes, and AJ thought he won the match, but uh, Shane comes out saying that you know Harper's foot was on the ropes and he restarts the he restarts the match. Uh, AJ starts bickering with Shane, you know, on the outside, and out of nowhere Harper just kicks you know Shane uh, by accident, which was that kick was meant for uh, AJ. But uh, AJ won the match, uh, hit the 450 splash. Uh, on Harper to win the match and so now AJ Styles is going on to the main event at Wrestlemania uh, to face Bray Wyatt so but it was a good match uh, really liked it really enjoyed it then after that we had Renee interviewing uh, Cena and Nikki uh, they were going to be interviewed but Car Carmella and James Ellsworth come and interrupts them Ellsworth ends up calling Cena and Nikki phonies, and Carmella says that 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 their show should be called Total Phonies. And then you know because of that, Cena says next week uh, it's going to be a match with them, you know Carmella and Ellsworth versus Cena and Nikki. So that's going to be a that's going to be a cool match next week. So and then uh, we see. AJ Styles backstage, Daniel Bryan is uh, congratulating him uh, on going to the main event at WrestleMania. It was a short little backstage segment. It was, you know, nothing special though. Sorry about that, but I was saying, uh, you know, Styles was backstage with Daniel. It was a short little, uh, short little backstage segment. And then uh, after that, you had Dean Ambrose making his way to the ring. Uh, he was set to take on Kurt Hawkins, but that didn't happen because, uh, you know, he went into the ring and gave a dirty deeds to uh, Hawkins. He gets on the mic and says that, you know, he has been pushed around by Baron Corbin 
and that messing that Corbin messing with him is a very bad idea. And he calls out uh, Corbin and he wants to fight him. Corbin is on Titan Tron. Uh, he says that Ambrose cost him the title at Elimination Chamber and that he's going to take everything from Ambrose. And uh, Ambrose actually tells Corbin that they are far from over. So, but it was a pretty uh, it was a good segment. Then after that was the main event, which was uh, Dolph, Zigg Dolph Ziggler versus Apollo Crews in a chairs match. Uh, this was another uh, good match. It was an awesome match. Uh, before the match, you had Apollo Crews attack Dolph Ziggler from behind. Uh, and then, you know, during the match, you had the chairs flying in. Uh, you had Apollo suplex uh, Ziggler onto a chair. But then it eventually... Uh, the, t the tables turned and Dolph Ziggler ended up taking out Apollo Crews. Uh, you know, you raked the eyes of Apollo Crews and, you know, Apollo Crews hit himself on the chair uh, in the throat. Uh, he himself in the throat with the chair. Uh, well, Ziggler did. And uh, eventually led to uh, Ziggler just low blowing Apollo uh, on the top of the chair. Uh, for uh, Ziggler to uh, get the win. Uh, so overall, it was an awesome, good match. It was a good main event. So, and then the last uh, segment, uh, Bray Wyatt ends up coming out, and he has a message for AJ Styles. He says that when the bell rings, he's AJ is going to feel the spirit of him. And then this is when this segment became the best segment of the night. This was just really awesome. Randy Orton is on the Titan Tron and he's in uh, Bray Wyatt's kingdom in his compound uh, saying that you know it's Bray's compound but you know it's not you know it's not his and it never was and it never will be. Uh, he says that Sister Abigail was put to rest underneath his feet and it, it was just a really weird uh, really weird thing like you saw like Sister Abigail in like a uh, sort of like a box and it had dirt and worms on it uh, which was crazy though it was one of these crazy little uh, segments and uh, you see Randy Orton picking up an axe I think it was and he tells Bray that he's gonna burn the spirit of sister Abigail and that he and that Bray will go with her and what it gets crazy right here. He picks up uh, gas cans and he he puts it all over uh, the compound inside of it, and uh, he puts he also puts it on the rocking chair. Which uh, during the uh, the segment, the chair was rocking back and forth uh, very uh, weirdly, uh, like hauntedly. And then Orton uh, comes out of the compound. He tells Bray that you know he's coming for him. And at the title at WrestleMania, you know, he's coming for Bray and the title at WrestleMania. And uh, he lights, and he lights the kingdom, well, he actually lights the compound on fire, which uh, was really a uh, kick-ass. It was really awesome. Uh, and Bray was going really crazy about that. And it's been a long time since we saw, you know, WWE use fire uh, in a while. Uh, you know, for a segment, because uh, this was this was Attitude Era material right here. I this is what you know they should do more often. WWE needs to do more often. Have edgy stuff like this all the time, because uh, this is what you know people miss about you know when they used to watch when they used to watch you know the Attitude Era back in the day. They always used to do this. Uh, this is what people want to see again. You know, because it's you know it's awesome, and um. You know, I'm glad that they uh, did that. They finally did something awesome for a segment tonight. And uh, you know, during when the when the uh, compound was on fire, you saw uh, Orton do his you know his famous pose, a uh, really cool uh, pose with you know him do with him doing his pose and the fire right there. It was really awesome. So, but yeah, it was the best segment of the night in my opinion. It was attitude era material. Uh, this is, like I said, this is something that WWE needs to do more often uh, for uh, some segments. So.
But yeah, it was the it was the best segment. That's all I gotta say about that. So yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of SmackDown. Uh, thank you all for watching, and until the next video, I'll see you all later. Bye.